I dyed my hair by myself. It's a little duller than I thought it was gonna be, but I really, really like it. Um, for Halloween or Samhain, October 31st, I think I wanna dress up like Ginger Spice from the Spice Girls, just because I really, really love her style. She's so gorgeous. All the Spice Girls are gorgeous, but I just really, really love her. Okay, that's who I'll dress up as. I'll try to dress up as. I think I'll be making a video about me going to a thrift store and trying to get a little fit together to kind of look like her, a lookbook maybe. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm feeling myself. Phoebe. Today I'll be telling you guys all about my view on Maybon or the Autumn Equinox. Whether you are pagan, Wiccan, a practitioner, or just anyone that follows any sort of um, Wheel of the Year, Sabbat, or just seasonal things, I don't know. Uh, everyone has their own specific path in life and in spirituality, if they believe in spirituality, that is. So please don't come at me if you don't agree with something I say. This is just my views on the matter, how I celebrate, how you can celebrate. Um, and you don't have to be religious to celebrate Mavon. It's the autumn equinox. It symbolizes a balance between day and night, light and dark, the coming of the cold, a way to honor the cold, honor the warmth that's gonna soon go away, um, which is kind of funny. Today kind of marks the beginning of autumn or fall, but here in New York City, it is 88 degrees and that is quite warm for fall. But as I know, New York, it'll be very cold in like a month. I kind of looked ahead of the calendar and apparently on Samhain or Halloween as most people call it it's gonna be like 55 degrees um, yikes I'll definitely be wearing a fur coat how about we jump into ways to celebrate it whether you have kids or family or friends there are so many ways that you can celebrate Maybon I love to just meditate above or near my altar with incense candles and crystals and just honor some gods that represent the sabbats so right here i'm gonna put a list of gods and goddesses that correspond with this holy day or holiday or sabbat or part of the wheel of the year there's just so many ways that you can celebrate and understand and view this part of the year as i could put up definitions and stuff like that but it's just it's just too much it's really too much it's so easy to just look up what a god or a goddess represents i could definitely do videos on sp specifics about um, gods and goddesses just because i love to learn more it's amazing how much knowledge there is out there to learn to continue learning we're all students um, constantly learning through life and I would love to teach just a little bit of what I know there's a lot that I don't know so we can learn together that's awesome um, I have books all about um, the sabbats the wheel of the years um, altars and crystals and herbs and incense and um, what else did I say and gods and goddesses so I can definitely do a few videos on those if you like to my five subscribers yeah <laughs> Mabon autumn equinox if you have a kid what can you do with them on this special day well of course apple picking pumpkin picking hay rides hay mazes eating in general eating is a big part of Mabon why I don't really know uh, eating has something to do with a lot of sabbats okay so you can make a food table um, on an altar or just a place where you can kind of speak to your gods or your goddesses or just earth in general I like to just say that I honor the earth mother earth kind of just like to stay very broad because within broadness you can really reach many different aspects so if you if you honor a specific god or goddess there's just specifics that you honor and associate with with them 
So for me saying just Mother Earth, it's just, it's everything, but to each their own. Everyone has their own path, as I said before. In a year, I'll probably have a better video on this. I, I swear, quote me on that. <laughs> so yes, for kids, it's apple picking, pumpkin picking, rides, um, one very basic thing that you can do to celebrate any Sabbat, but specifically this one, is just go outside. Unlike me. I plan on going outside today, hopefully, just for a walk, maybe. But the closest park that has any real greenery is a 30 minute walk away. And yeah, I can do that, but I'm by myself today. And I'm just feeling a little lonely. I got no friends. Okay, so just go in nature, right? Hug a tree. Literally just, just hug a tree, sit down on the grass, meditate, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, just feeling clarity, feeling balance, balance is the whole point of Mavon. Just going out in nature is a great way of celebrating. There's no too little or too big of a way to celebrate a Sabbat, just acknowledging the fact that there is a special day like today or around today. Um, this year it is September 23rd for Maybon, but, but like throughout the whole week you can celebrate it. It's different every year by one or two days. I don't know what I was saying. Oh my gosh. I have to meditate more because my mind is just leaving me. I really... Okay, so my plans for today is to meditate do some yoga, light some candles, touch some crystals, hold some crystals in my hands, and think clear with my positive intentions on how I want to balance myself for the rest of the year, for the oncoming dark and cold. Because we all know when winter comes around, a lot of people do feel the weight of the darkness. By darkness, I mean literally the dark, um, just because the sun isn't out as much anymore and the cold, it makes a, most people feel like shut-ins. Moi. Um, and we just have to really see through ourselves of the light that's all around us, even if the light isn't physically there. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be trying to focus on myself and how I can carry myself through the winter, through autumn, and come right back up during spring as happy as ever, even though I'm not that happy of a person. My stomach keeps growling. Okay, um, okay, colors, colors and symbols of Maybon. Colors, um, orange, brown, dark red, burgundy, gold, any kind of warm color, that's why I'm wearing all brown and gold and why I colored my hair this way too. I thought it was really fitting. Oh, also this ring that I got from New Orleans, Louisiana. I was so happy when I got this. Thank you, mom. So pretty. It's orange, so it fits. I got these earrings online at the Sacred Dimension. These are either fake feathers or they were naturally found. They were no birds or any part of that kind of species was ever harmed, thankfully. They are a bit expensive, but they're handmade, handcrafted, really beautiful, sturdy. I wish they sponsored me. I'm barely a YouTuber, so. One day, maybe they could sponsor me, that'd be awesome. I love them so much. I said the colors corresponding with Maybon or the Autumn Equinox, as well as symbols. So, apples, pumpkins, hay, Oh, I forgot what it's called, but you can make these little corn husk little people symbols. Um, it looks like a person. It's made out of like hay or corn husk, something like that. I don't know if this symbolizes a witch, but it's really cute. I really want to make one one year. I'm just a really lazy person. There's probably a lot of berries and crystals that correspond with Maybon. And I have books literally right across from me that have it all listed there, but I'm trying to do this. It's kind of like me practicing my own knowledge. And as you can tell, my knowledge just doesn't stick there 
because I have books and if I need to know something, I can just read it right there. <laughs> but I'm trying, I'm trying to remember all these things. I don't know if there's much more that I can say about Maybon other than have fun. It's never a chore, never something you have to do. You don't have to do anything to celebrate, as I said before. But it's just a beautiful time. Just honoring nature. Nature is what give us life. <laughs> nature is what give us life. Nature is what gives us life. Well, I think that's all I have to say. I'm gonna quickly show y'all what my permanent altar looks like. I don't really change it for the holy days of the Wheel of the Year just because I like things broad. It just makes me feel more connected to everything rather than something specific. I do have the right side as the goddess side and the left side as the god side and I, you, you, you'll see how I associate it with different colors and symbols and things like that. Your altar doesn't need to be expensive. You can really find really, really cheap things to decorate your altar with. But the statues I bought were not that cheap. Um, 30 bucks. <laughs> I like to spend my money on religious items. I'm a hoarder, as my mom says. Hello, popping right back in with my altar. Yes, that is really cheesy of me, but I thought it was cute. I have a lot of crystals. I have selenite, moonstone, clear quartz, fluoride, amethyst, many, many more. Himalayan right here, citrine right here. I have points. I have a chalice, sage. So I said this was the god side, this is the goddess side. As you can tell, this one is more warm colors, red, yellow, this side's more pink, purple, and some green and white, black over here. And yeah, it's mostly candles <laughs> and crystals and incense. Yes, I love incense. Um, oh, also I made a few of these things in ceramic class from high school a few years ago. I made this, just triple moon goddess general statue. I don't know what to really call it. <laughs> also, this right here is the triquetra, just an altar tile. Just some altar inspo for y'all. Ooh, also, my mom found this feather in our backyard like a week ago, and we're pretty sure it's real, and we're pretty sure it's not hazardous to my health, um, but I'll just stay away from touching it just in case. Ooh, also, in here, I have frankincense. It's a good staple piece. Um, frankincense resin, so you burn it on top of this a diffuser you light a can on the bottom heats this up and the stuff on the top will burn all right i think that is all uh one quick thing if you're gonna burn incense or resin make sure there is good ventilation in the room because you don't want to choke and so yeah keep those windows open <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you for watching to the end. See you in my next video.